There's a the cover. That's the war trumpet of the Basumbas. My own people. Basumbas? You still got a chance. Jim! Jim! Oh, Jim! Jim! Oh, Jim! I'm afraid that old river's got him.
Buzzards. Hope they're not after Jim. Them hyenas made off with her and headed out west. Did you recognize any of them? No. Nope. Who was that fellow that knocked you over the falls? I never saw him before. You suppose he is the fellow that knife Red Hallahan? Was he wearing earrings? I don't know, Mike. He had his ears covered up and I didn't get a good look at him. Uh -huh. He sure was handy with a knife. It's a cinch. One of them killed old Red. Yeah, and when we find out which one of them wore this, we'll have Red's murder. Well, let's. Go, Jim. Nella. Yes, Father. Get that man up and keep moving. There's no time to lose. No can do, Bruno. All pretty tired. All right. Rest them. Yes, sir. We can't stop now, Slade. We've got to push on. Well, get started when I say so. I'm running this outfit. It's my money that's financing it. What good your money in the jungle? If those natives pulled up on us, we're done. Now get out of here and help with that ration off that water. Mano. Yes, one. Get your guards posted and tell them to keep their eyes open. Set up a tire to you. How long are we going to drag that girl around with us? I don't know, my friend. Well, you don't ask Slade. He's boss. I'm just about fed up with him. I hired him to find the girl and get her out of the way. Not to tote her around with us through the jungle. It means plenty of money to you she disappeared, eh? It means I inherit the Redmond millions. Millions? Oh. Hey, in the back. Bring some of that water over here. You better take it. It'll be a long time before we come to another halt. Yes, unless the Cobra's men overtake you. The Cobra? Who is he? The Cobra's my father, White Chief of the Basumbos. My father. Simba Basan. It's scary. Sananga Malu. Cobra Basan. Sananga Malu. Excitement. Joan has turned back the war party and gone off with the white men I sent my warriors to capture. You mean she deserted us? Yes. Those white men must have told her who she really is. And who we are. Alanda. My dear sister, how often have I told you not to show any alarm in the presence of these natives? You know we're sitting on a powder magazine. Yes, and if those white men reach the coast, the powder will blow up. And the government agents will swarm in here looking for the cobra. And for his sister, Shanghai Lil. We've got to stop Joan and those white men from reaching the coast. Stop the drums talking. Hmm. And warn them of their danger? You know Joan can read the drums. But we've got to do something. Head west through the Crowley County. I'll send a message to the chief of the Crowleys to capture the white men and put them to death without Joan's knowledge. Kimba! Send your fastest runner to the chief of the Crowleys. With this ring. Tell him. Stop to rest. Might be our chance to get that girl away. Yeah. <laughs> but how are we going to do it with only a rifle and a knife betwixt us? It won't be easy to do, but we've got to find a way. Elephants, Mike. There's our answer. You work.
windward, to the windward, and when you hear my signal, stampede them. Which signal, Jim? Let's find Mike. Boy, oh boy, did me and them elephants scatter Slade and his bunch or not? Huh? Sure did, but it won't be long before those crooks get together again and come after us. Said, where are we going, Jim? Well, the first thing we've got to do is get Joan out of their reach. There's one of my father's villages not far from here. What? And let that old cobra get his hand on us again? The cobra's people will not harm you when I tell them you're my friend. Well, I hope we can depend on that. Without 
show you to your hut. What's the idea? Run it up! Sleep without fear, says she. Without fear, says she. They must not catch you, lion. Got to stay in the hut. Search all the huts to find the girl. Yes, 
She ran in that burning hut. You don't try to save her? Why should I? You know we don't get out these jungle without her. They will kill you for let that girl die. But don't tell him, Lebet. Now that the girl is dead, I inherit the Redmond Million. I can make you rich. Quick, behind that hut. Burn my village. Tomorrow you go to the White Cobra for judgment. Avando! so far, Mike. Yeah, one of that jungle cats don't start to remember that he's hungry. left the village. It was the only way we could keep you from falling into the hands of Slade and his men. Why are those men so determined to capture me? Well, they wanted me. Well, it don't mean you're no good. You can gamble on that, sister. Mike's right. You see, you're the heiress to a great fortune. It's all very interesting, but what have those men got to do with it? They want you out of the way so that one of them can claim the fortune. It's all very confusing. But why are you in the Busumba country? We're on the trail of a killer. A killer? Yes. One of those men murdered a friend of ours. And we've sworn to bring him to justice. Don't be afraid. The lions are my friends. Well, you don't have to invite them in here for me. I believe you, sister. <laughs> we better get some sleep. This hotel has a thousand upstairs rooms. Take your pick. Looks like all the guests are retired for the evening, don't it? Hang on to that crab, Monk. We can use them for breakfast. Hey, wake up. Time to eat. Hey, let's get out the river and take a swim before the girl wakes up. All right. And the last guy is in the nigger, maybe. Look, she's gone. You reckon that old black panther got her? No, she's too jungle wise for that. <laughs> Lion goddess? Why, she's a beautiful swimmer. A mermaid.
found it in Nipke, son? Uh, guess I'm still in one piece. <laughs> oh, Jim, it was all my fault. Oh, it was Mike's fault, the old fish. <laughs> you took that... The Corrali were you? In the village we were in last night. Looks like there's white men in that party. White men? Now that must be Slade and his bunch. They're probably taking them to my father, the Cobra, for judgment. And I suppose he'll condemn them to death. Probably. That's the fate of all white men who enter the Basumba country. Not this time. He trailed that bunch halfway across Africa to get the rat that killed Red. And we're going to take him out alive. And when we go back, we're going to take you with us. But I... There's no buts about it. Red was killed trying to bring you back to civilization. And we're going to finish the job for him. How do you know I'm the girl you're looking for? She's right, Mike. We have no proof she's the heiress of the Redmond fortune. If there is any such proof, my father, the Cobra, will have it. Yes, he most likely got the guy we're after. There's two reasons why we should call on the Cobra. Come on, Mike, let's go. She is. What difference does it make? We're a prisoner. She's a white woman. She might be willing to help us. Leave us alone, Palou. What's wrong now, sister of mine? The Corrales have just come in with prisoners. Jungle Jim and Melee Knight? No, three other white men. They may be government agents. <laughs> You're getting old. Every white man looks like a government agent to you. Oh, why not? You seem to forget we're wanted for murder. If the law ever catches up... Shut up. Monday, Bongi Malou. Malou, Bella, Barrett, Adander. Take off your hats. I'm told that you attacked one of my villages and burned it. What have you to say? We didn't set fire to your village, but we did attack. Why? Two renegade white men, Jungle Jim and Melee Mike, had captured a jungle white girl, and we were trying to rescue her. Go on, what happened? They set fire to the village, and she was burned to death. The lion goddess? Dead? Are you sure? Positive. I saw the blazing hut collapse on her. Why were you so interested in this white girl? Because she's Joan Redman. This man's niece and heiress to one of the largest fortunes in America. You must be mistaken, my friend. I think not. Hand me that photograph of me. This is a snapshot of Joan and her mother. No one can possibly doubt the resemblance. Is this all the proof you have? Fortunately, no. We have the Redmond family records safely hidden in the jungle. We buried them during an attack by natives. Very interesting. This has nothing to do with me. My village has been burned. The penalty for that is death. Until I'm satisfied of your innocence, you're my prisoners. Ananda Malou. Now we are in for it. How are we going to control the natives when they find out their lion goddess is dead? I don't know. But I'll find a way somehow. White goddess, Kalu have failed you. Look! It's Kalu! 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 Basanta! Basanta Jones! He looked like he was gonna jump to his death. Oh, he was. It's a cliff where my people die to restore lost honor.
Get up, Kalu, and tell me what has happened. I heard the white prisoners tell the Cobra you were dead. The white men told my father I was dead? They told the Cobra. The Cobra's not your father. Not my father? Oh, what do you mean, Kalu? Can Kalu trust you? Certainly. Will you help Kalu take Missy Jones to Great Water? One of the reasons we're here, Kalu. The time has come to say many things. What things, Kalu? The white Cobra's not your father. Your father's name Redmond. Redmond? Redmond? How do you know? Kalu was cabin boy on Buono Redmond's ship when Mrs. Jones was very small. You mean to tell me you were on that boat when it sank, Kalu? Kalu swam ashore with little Missy. Lost in jungle many days, found big castle with two white people. I've got it. Got what? The way to get out of this jungle with plenty of money to beat the law. The Redmond fortune, I suppose. How are you going to get it with Joan dead? That's just it. Nobody in New York knows that Joan and her mother are dead. And you're going to be Mrs. Redmond. Oh, well, you're crazy. Oh, I don't look any more like Mrs. Redmond than you do. But a lot of changes can take place in 15 years. Yes. And there are plastic surgeons, too. I knew you'd see it. Slade has a Redmond family records buried in the jungle. Now, you go downstairs and tell him. That is all the story, Buana. But why have you never told me these things before? Cole or Fred. Cobra said if I told little Missy, she's going to die. Well, now that gives us another good reason why we should pay a visit to that old polecat. And that's why I came to you. I'll do anything to get out of this jungle. Now, let me get this straight. You'll get us out of here with rifles and ammunition if we agree to take you to the coast? Yes. I've got the key to the gun room right here. OK, boys. Where does that door lead to? That leads to a secret exit into the jungle. Mind if we have a look outside? To the jungle, eh? Thanks, sister. We won't need your help anymore. What do you mean? You didn't think I fell for that frame up of the Cobras, did you? Why, you low-down double prophet! This sledge is pretty smart fellow, eh? What do we do with her? Put her in the cell she took us out of. And see that she don't squawk. After you, madame. There's a secret entrance to the castle, hidden by that clump of thorn bush. Right. Kalu, you stay here with Miss Joan. Oh, I wish you'd give up this idea. Let's push on to the coast. Listen, Joan, once in a lifetime, a man has a friend like Red Hallahan. The man that killed Red's in there. And we're not going back without him. You need guns and ammunition. Right. Here's the key to the gun room at the other end of the secret passage. Thanks. You know, it seems kind of silly to me, Jim. We just climb out of one hole to crawl into another. Hey, Slade, what to do? Just fix it so we'll be the only ones around here with guns and ammunition. We pulled the cobra's fangs, eh? Come on, let's get out of here.
Mike, the other earring. Let's kill her. Yeah. 